Well, happening right now, crews are working to set up a new bridge shelter in the Midway District. The construction of this temporary shelter comes after city crews made an effort to clean up the tent neighborhoods people had been setting up in that area. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell shows us why leaders say this is only part of the solution to our homelessness crisis. City and county officials have said the shelter that's being built here is only a small part in this big picture, but they add we are headed in the right direction. With a couple of drills, the construction of the brand new Midway District Bridge Shelter has officially begun. This shelter will be built in the back parking lot of the county's Health and Human Services building off of Rosecrans and Kurt Street. It took the collaboration of the county, city and Lucky Duck Foundation to get this temporary shelter together. It can house up to 150 people, getting them access to the resources and help they need. Guests will be provided meals, showers, restrooms, laundry, storage for their belongings, mental health and addiction treatment. The construction of this tent shelter comes as city crews visited this neighborhood several times to try and clean up and clear some of the encampments while reaching out to those individuals offering them help and a place to stay. ABC 10 News stopped by that area Tuesday morning and saw a noticeable decrease in the number of tents. Mayor Todd Gloria says the numbers reflect that as the city shelters are at 90 percent capacity. But it doesn't just end there. He says nearly 350 people living in those shelters have transitioned to permanent housing. We bring more people off the streets and into care and we ultimately get them housed. Outreach, shelter, housing. That's the pathway forward. The shelter is scheduled to be up and running by July. Reporting from the Midway District, Marie Coronel, ABC 10 News.